Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about horizontal asymptotes and limits to infinity. So when I'm finding the horizontal asymptote of a function, I'm usually looking at a function that's defined as a quotient of two functions where the numerator and the denominator are polynomials. If that's the case, then there's three different things that can happen that will tell me what my limit to infinity is, and what, if any, horizontal asymptote that I have. When I'm looking at my numerator and my denominator, what I'm going to be doing is comparing the degree of the numerator to the degree of the denominator. The degree is the biggest exponent attached to a variable coefficient. If the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then the limit's going to be positive or negative infinity depending on the signs in those two polynomials. So if I look at this first example, again, the degree is the biggest exponent attached to a variable. So the degree of the numerator is 3. That's the biggest exponent attached to a variable in the numerator. The degree of the denominator is 2 because that's the biggest exponent attached to a variable in the denominator. Since the degree is bigger in the the numerator than the denominator, that means that this limit is going to be positive or negative infinity depending on what's going on with the signs here. So I know for now that this is some kind of infinity. I now have to determine if it's positive or negative infinity. Since this limit is approaching positive infinity, if I plug positive numbers in for x cubed, I'm still going to get a positive number. The rest of this expression doesn't really matter. This biggest term right, is really going to determine what's going on with the numerator. So I know that the numerator is going to end up being positive. And in the denominator, since I'm squaring the value of x, this is also going to be positive. And I know that a positive number divided by a positive number is positive. So this tells me that this function is going to approach positive infinity when x approaches positive infinity. If the function is shooting up to positive infinity, that means that there's no horizontal asymptote. So in this first case, when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, there's not going to be any horizontal asymptote, and your limit's going to be positive or negative infinity, again, depending on the signs. Let's look at another example when it's not positive infinity and why that is so. So the second one says the limit as x approaches negative infinity of the same function. So I can see that the degree of the numerator is 3 and the degree of the denominator is 2. So since the degree of the numerator is bigger, that means that the limit here is going to be positive or negative infinity. I just need to figure out which. So now I have to think to myself, if I take a negative number and I plug it in for x here, a negative number cubed is negative, which means that this numerator is always going to end up being a negative number. In the denominator, if I take a negative number and square it, that number is always going to be positive. So that means I have a negative number divided by a positive number, which is negative. So that tells me as the x values in this function approach negative infinity, the y values are going to also approach negative infinity. There is no horizontal asymptote. In these two cases, it's important to note that these limits are speaking to the end behavior of these functions. So as this function's x values approach positive infinity, the y values are approaching positive infinity. So this function is shooting up when x is approaching positive infinity, and it's shooting down when x is approaching negative infinity. This isn't necessarily a hard limit. Our limit definition says that the limit must be a number, and infinities are really just an idea. So this is just describing the behavior of the graph and isn't necessarily a hard limit definition. It's helping us describe the end behavior and figure out whether or not there are any asymptotes. So again, this first case, we looked at the degree of the numerator greater than the degree of the denominator. There are going to be two other cases that we need to look at. So let's look at case two. In case two, we're looking at a function where the degree of p of x is less than the degree of q of x. So meaning the numerator's degree, so in this case two, is less than the degree of the denominator three. So if the degree of the denominator is greater than that means that this number is getting bigger faster than the numerator. So you could think of it as something like 1 fourth, 1 tenth, 1 one hundredth, 1 one thousandth. So those numbers are getting closer and closer to zero. So whenever the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, the limit is going to be zero. Since this function is getting dragged down to zero, that means that there is a horizontal asymptote. That horizontal asymptote is occurring at y equals zero. These ones are relatively easy. There's really no further things 
thinking than that. If the degree of the denominator is greater than the degree of the numerator, the limit is zero and the horizontal asymptote is y equals zero. Let's look at the third case. The third and final case is if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, which this example here is not great. So we're gonna cross that out and do something different. The limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed plus five over x cubed plus two x squared minus three. So I can see here that the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator. They both have a degree of three. If that's the case, then the limit of this function is gonna be the quotient of the leading coefficients. So that means the numbers that are in front of those variables. Since there's no number here, I know that that's really a one. So my limit here is one over one or just one. This limit also gives me my horizontal asymptote. So my horizontal asymptote is gonna be the equation y equals one because that was the limit that we found. Let's wrap up all three cases on one page. So just to recap, if the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, the limit of the function is going to be positive or negative infinity depending on the signs of p of x and q of x. And this means the function has no horizontal asymptote because again, it's either shooting up to positive or negative infinity depending on what's going on. If the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. So that means the denominator is bigger. That means that the limit is going to be zero and my horizontal asymptote is gonna be y equals zero. That function is gonna get dragged to the x-axis. The third case, if the degree of the numerator is equal to the degree of the denominator, then the limit is equal to the quotient of the leading coefficients. So say those leading coefficients were a in the numerator and b in the denominator, our horizontal asymptote would be y equals a over b. That's it for horizontal asymptote asymptotes and limits to infinity. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. If you are not one of my students and would like a copy of this worksheet, feel free to email me. I will leave that email in the description of this video. Hope you have a great day.